What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth again. And this is part 13 of me playing it. And also I just wanna say Ramadan Karim to everyone. Cause today it is day one of Ramadan. So I, so I hope every, every Muslim in the world is gonna be fasting. Like me, I am currently fasting. And the reason why I'm doing a video now is to just distract myself until like I done. Yeah, let's fight. Let's finish this. Oh, that's that was fast. That was very hard. Oh, good. Shawnee, that you? Who's Shawnee? One of your chocobos? Did they run away from home? <laughs> My apologies. I don't believe we've met. I'm Kamaria, the owner. <laughs> so, Shawnee's your bird? Goodness, no. Shawnee's my daughter. She's a chocobo jackie, or was, till she fell off her mount during a race. Since then, she's completely lost her nerve. Refuses to get back in the saddle. I see. Oh! Tell me, you kids any good at riding? Yeah, we dabble. Wonderful! In that case, how would you like to use my training course? I had everything built brand new just for Shawnee. But now it's going to waste. Someone ought to put it to good use, don't you think? And who better than you young go-getters? I don't know. Ever run a ring course? It's simple. You strap yourselves in and fly through a series of hoops. I reckon you won't find a course like mine anywhere else. That sounds like fun. Whoa! That sounds amazing! Yeah, it does. It actually sounds like fun. You want to try it, right? Imagine how jealous everyone will be. Sure. But first, you'll need to catch yourself a chocobo. One that isn't afraid of heights. A fine bird like Apony ought to do you, though. Go ahead and ride her over to the training course. Twisting paths and bewildering brushlands. She'll guide you through it all with ease. I mean, we could use a chocobo.
got some chocobo traps. Damn it. No, no, no.
Yes, you know. There you go. Good bird. <sighs> Easy girl. We got you. Just hit me. You don't get sick on Chocobac. Amazing, isn't it? It's like my Chocobo and I share one mind, one body, one soul. Uh-huh. Or maybe my body just hates Shimmer cars, trains, and boats. They ought to find a way to make the ride smoother for their stuff. Put R&D to work. I think they got other priorities. That's true. seem to find me, no matter where I go. Aha! Uh -huh. Let me guess. You're... Shani? Uh, you were talking with your mom earlier. She said you weren't using the training facility she built. Figured if you're not up for it, then we could give Abony her exercise. <sighs> no, don't! We'll bring her back. <laughs> Alright, it's settled. And Chocobo Whisperer Yuffie gets first dibs!
Alright, right, let's see this. Ah! Let's retry, let's try. This is great! Maybe I should just hold the R2. Racing at the gold saucer? I bet on me. Don't let it go to your head. I could do what you just did in my sleep. Mm. Before you start talking big, you gotta at least finish the other regiments first. <laughs> Gonna move the gold post, huh? Fine. I'll take whatever you throw at me. Understand how Shawnee must be thrown from the saddle by Apony, her best friend since childhood. Must have hit her hard. Okay, you know what? Forgot this. 
I'm just gonna steal your chocobos and you'll focus on the story. Because now we're in chapter 10 and I only needed the chocobos just to get, just to travel faster. Because now in this world, chocobos are like motorcycles. Choco, 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 bow. I'm on a choco bow. You're on a choco bow. Behold Cosmo Canyon, a sacred sanctuary where the planet's greatest minds gather. It's beautiful. More than I ever imagined. Come on. Let's pick up the pace. I can hear it calling my name. Yeah, okay. me too. Okay, so it looks like there's some temple here, so we're gonna check it out. Watch out for high winds! Ah! Hey! Ah! 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 Ah
Okay, you know what? You know what? No, no, no. Oh, here. See if I'm correct. Chocobo, choco, 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 bow. I'm on a choco bow. You're on a choco bow. again. There. Oh, that sounds like a cool summon. Analysis complete. I managed to extract 
the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Let's just fast travel. Oh look, what do you know? Anyone else think it'd be fun to climb one of those things? I don't know, I don't really think I ever climbed anything before. Is that everyone? Yep. <laughs> we were so worried. Oh, come on. Whoa. Now, why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Come on. Uh, you can let them through. They're good people. I promise. After all, they're the reason I'm here. Hmm? What in the hell was that? Hey guys, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a softie. Real quick, 
Gotta check something. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. Hmm. But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Sanctum of Planetology, Cosmo Canyon. Pictures look nothing like us. It must be that way for a reason. We gotta keep on our toes. Hey, red, red, calm down. Shop here. All right, I got something. Better watch how you wield those things now. Mm -hmm. Born and raised here, in this canyon. I was to become a watcher of the veil like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig! Is that you, my boy? Coming! So, was that goodbye? Um... Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why'd we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology! Come on! Can't forget that materia! That's, That's all me. Yuffie cares about! Ah, that'll do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then we can see the sights. Well, I'm going to go find Red. Feel the energy all around you. It rides the winds across our planet. No, no, I'm not going to do Queen's Blood. Our journey begins here at the dawn of life. As newborn souls freshly birthed by the planet. Though the road ahead is unknown. Since Doc, tell me, is it better to spread the teachings of the planet? I plan to
these are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Looks like Barrett. Thank you for looking at I mean, uh, I mean, uh, no, not Barrett, not Barrett. I was trying I to talk about another guy from that I saw in Dragon Ball I Z. Here in the I'm just saying. One could Wait, what? I know a thing or two Hold about on. our world. Check. Check. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. Oi! What? <laughs> <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. Beerus. Beerus. That's the guy, Beerus. Because he's pur because his outfit is purple and Beerus is a purple guy, so yeah. Beerus. You know what I'm talking about. Huh? Ah! Okay. Again, I'm doing this just to distract myself until I'm done. He never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. That records fluctuations in various energies. I must ask that you handle it with care. It's a rather delicate device, you see. Okay. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. That's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. That right there is a type of a current generator. It harnesses the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. Yeah. The lights we observe here have traveled to us from the far reaches of time. That's a giant telescope. Hold on one second, I'm just gonna take a thumbnail shot. Okay, I'm done taking the thumbnail shot. Mind your manners in front of Elevator. There is so much we have yet to learn about the universe. Oh, oh, oh. You won't find a larger telescope on the planet. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. <laughs> But the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. The 
the planet crying out. A sorrowful dirge indeed. One I've heard all too often of late. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them, with our own eyes. Two, in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> A fascinating account. Were it true? However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. Yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. Sent to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado. Okay, never mind. That's gonna be my thumbnail. Wow. <laughs> this is only the beginning. A shooting star. Planetology is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. Behold, the planet we call home. Earth. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. <laughs> so, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name, though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, Of course, 
These are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry. That energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? Probably. A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. <laughs> from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Which would you say? Already I feel the planet's essence. They are both one and the same. Wouldn't you agree? I ask you this. Who among you has looked inward into the universe? The seminar is in progress. I've, uh, always been on the bigger side, but I've never been into physical stuff. Painting and poetry are more my thing. My old man, he... he used to say it was a waste. What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But. There was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. 
And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. See you at the festival. There is no seminar being held here at the moment. So many seminars. Where do I even see? Uh, we, I went to a medical. We yearn to chase the horizon. Put your faith in our great mother. She would never forsake us, never abandon us, for we are her children, one and all. This wonderful planet is always watching over us, ever keeping calamity at bay. If people everywhere resolved to not take her bounty for granted and offered up prayers of gratitude, no man, woman, or child would suffer. We must live in harmony with our great mother. For the planet is an extension of us. This river of lights thing sounds so cool. I can't wait. Earth. To nurture your spirit. Earth. Is to nurture the spirit of the planet. And so, I implore you, brothers and sisters. I pray these souls do not lose their way. Prayers. Through your diligence, you will find true fulfillment. If we've anything to fear, it is not our fellow man. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? What do you want to do? Not nothing, that's for damn sure. At the same time, though, I don't know if fighting's the answer anymore. Uh. Maybe it's time for some good old-fashioned introspection. Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me and Mom and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. 
When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. What? Ugh, should have known better than to get philosophical with you. I'm sorry. How much longer are they gonna be doing this? Earth, what are you doing? So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients, or to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will, I've been watched, I've been ignored, even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. That much was clear. So my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. That's just beautiful. I'm 
glad to see you cloud sad, smiling. Huh? Meant every word, though. This is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean more of you. Join me, would you? Did what you did you all the think of the River of Light? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale as of late. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. It was Some beautiful. Some they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat. And it pleases me to know that the River of Heights possesses such power. Alas, my hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual curiosity. They have yet to be fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation, yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. Oh, oh. Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself is quite a challenge in my old down. age. You hear? This door was sealed so that none may enter. Why, yes, and by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a Watcher of the Veil, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. Yeah, I'm ready. Then off we go. We follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. Couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him. Why would I? I see. point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial and his observer. Who's gonna observe? 
I'll do it. Oh, <laughs> that would render the trial meaningless. But if not him, ah, you do nicely. Me? Him? Really? <laughs> At least pretend not to hate me. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Ready. <sighs> All right, but first, let me just go somewhere real quick. Okay, so I just looked on YouTube to see if there's like any you weapons for Cloud. Back. Yeah, burning holes in you right now. <laughs> what is this? This is a place of. Should be well within your power to climb. to make it all the way up here? <laughs> okay, somebody fill me in. Who are the key? The tribe knows a very few people outside of the bay. The rest will learn in due time. Of that you can be certain. For now, they're this place. this way. I only got two legs here, you know. I walked up the wall. Where am I supposed to go now? Sorry. 
gonna check out his weakness. Oh, so weakness is fire. Good to go. All right. Catch you sleeping. Don't you let up. Getting a lot of watchers work is never done. Oh. Okay. Damn if that doesn't look convenient. Here you know. Hey, where'd you run off to? Okay, how about I? Nah, no, nah, not yet, not yet. Damn, if that doesn't look convenient. Oh. Oh. That wasn't what the hell is that? That is a key. It's huge. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, I would stress that you mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the key, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. 
These are the things that killed my mom? Nanae, this shall be your first try. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, will do. Seek the relic of our past. Carry it forth and bring the truth to light. Only then shall the path reveal itself unto you. isn't a key arrow. Its point is coated with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body, slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone. you fought was a fallen key. Even in death, their lingering enmity manifests as such. They who wander in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us <laughs> the remnants of our past. Looks like we got a delivery to do.
Special delivery. Are these altars? Yep, I think. Interesting. Cause my first thought was, are we gonna make it out of this place alive? <laughs> Its decor is indeed the opposite of inviting. These look like the statue I picked up. If there is a reason for everything, then one could argue that everything has no reason. Regardless, you know what you must do, don't you? Deliver unto us. The remnants of our past. Restore them to their rightful place. <laughs> that it? <laughs> Not in the least. Okay, now we need to find one more. Two legs here, you know.
there. intertwined with the Gi, for they first came to these lands many millennia ago. This sanctuary is proof of their persistence, for it was built to ensure that they never escaped. But if they were sealed away thousands of years ago, how'd they break out and attack the Vale? That I cannot answer. Only the Gi themselves could. But enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Naraki. Alright, let's learn about ourselves. This cave serves as a boundary between our world and that of the Gi. It was vital to them and their plans. Were the Gi to seize control of it, the canyon would be doomed. And the people. When the Gi moved against us yet again, a certain watcher recalled this vulnerability. Huh? Since time was of the essence, he entered the cave without reinforcements. As he had feared, it was teeming with Gi, ready to descend upon the village. Determined to protect the veil, he pounced from one foe to the next, felling all who dared oppose him. Hold on. If there was a watcher who single-handedly saved the canyon, how come I've never heard of them? <laughs> For now, you should focus on your own struggles with the Gi. Their malice grows more potent. Okay guys, so now we're gonna be, so we're probably gonna be doing this later. Actually, maybe in the next video cause I'm actually very tired. So anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.